okay, plastic surgery nerds or anyone that sutures or medical students learning how to suture, we can go over really quick common suture materials that plastic surgeons use. I use these almost every breast case. Um, you come on in here, you can see a little bit better. So sutures that do not absorb are permanent sutures and then other sutures that dissolve over time are absorbable sutures. So what, what we commonly use um, for the non-absorbable sutures or sutures, I don't like to leave them deep if we can avoid it, but common ones that we use are proline and these come in all different sizes, but proline is blue. So if you look at the color of the suture, it's blue. And then nylon, which is similar, but a little less slippery than proline is black. And these are monofilament. So they kind of look like fishing line, but black. Both of these are monofilaments or permanent sutures. And this is proline and nylon black, okay? Another common absorbable suture we use is monocryl. It's clear. Sometimes you can find it in purple, but mostly clear is what we use. And it's an absorbable suture. It lasts tensile strength. I believe it is about 10 days. We'll have to look that up. But um, we use this typically, it's a relatively rapid but strong absorbable suture. Skip this one for now and let's go to PDS, which kind of looks like monocryl. It also comes in clear and purple, but we usually use purple so we can tell the difference uh, more easily. But this is also an absorbable suture, but it lasts for months and months and months. Sometimes six months after surgery, this suture, you can still find it, but it's dissolving and absorbing. So this is a long lasting absorbable suture. We use it more deep. And this is a shorter lasting absorbable suture. We use it more superficial. Then when we kind of come over here, we'll take a look at this suture, which is an absorbable braided white suture. So it, when you look at it almost on the microscopic level, it looks more like our little tiny white rope. This comes also in white and purple, and it, it's, it's very fibrous. This is called Vicryl, also an absorbable suture. This particular one has antibacterial elements within the suture to avoid infection risk. And then when we go over here, this is a really fine suture, fast absorbing gut. Typically we'll use this in little babies sometimes to put stitches in if they fall and split their chin. This is a very fine suture and it's very brittle. It'll break or fracture and it looks a little bit brown in coloration. All of these sutures come in different sizes. So if we look over here, this is a 2O and this is a zero. So what's interesting, when you look at suture material, if it says 2-0, a 2-0 PDS is actually thinner than a zero PDS. It's kind of counterintuitive. You can see the zero PDS is a lot thicker, stronger, and the 2O is thinner and less strong. And then when we look at also this compared to a 3O monocryl, a 3O is even smaller than a 2O. So when you see a 3-0, okay, that's gonna be smaller than a 2-0. But if there's no dash zero and it's just a two, then it's bigger. So once you start going two, a two is bigger than a, a zero, a three is bigger than a two. But if you see the dash zero, it kind of works almost counterintuitive. So these are common suture materials that we use and thanks for watching.